have discussed emotional basis, cultural basis, physiological basis. Now let's add some uh, some more dimension in this module, and that is naturalness. We have discussed sex preferred intonation patterns. The preference may be caused by physiology and culture. We have talked about it. This is summary of our uh, foregoing talk. But there is another factor of variation that is natural factor. What is that natural factor? For example, you often have noted this and you may have experienced it yourself that when you talk the rising and falling of tone also accompanies, also brings with it gasping, quick breathing and a, a kind of muscular tension. Somebody is twisting fingers and hands and such kind of uh, um, uh, discomfort is observable. So this is the result that creates dynamism in pitch pattern. Now, what is dynamism? What is dynamic pitch pattern? Pitch patterns which involve change in loudness or amplitudes are called dynamic. But when there is quick breathing and there is muscular tension along with pitch patterns, so definitely, naturally, loudness is also added to your tone. And this addition of loudness, this is called dynamism or dynamic pitch pattern. Women have more dynamic pitch pattern. So this style of talk, this is uh, very often observed among women. So, if you have seen women under some stress or uh, facing some difficulty or uh, if they are under some pressure, uh, you have seen uh, uh, such kind of things in movies, in dramas, see how they uh, uh, gasp and how uh, quick breathing and emotional conditions, uh, uh, they overpower them. This is quite natural with them. It is here that naturalness, the factor of naturalness, enters with gender. Suppression of emotions demand level tone. In case of women, the expression of emotions that was almost uncontrollable, there was loudness in tone, rising tone. But on the opposite side, if you hide, if you suppress, if you control your emotions, so then your tone remains neutral. This is called level tone, flat tone. It is a tone uh, like uh, Roberts, as uh, you might have heard Roberts talking uh, in, in some TV program. So that uh, robotic tone is level tone. Fluctuation, rise and fall in respiration, in your breathing, when your breathing pattern is disturbed, our control over it, you keep it normal. It conveys naturalness or lack of it. If you control it, it is lack of naturalness. If you don't, it is presence of naturalness. No. Here gender involved. Women are more natural. They can't control their emotions. They freely express them. Men's speech lacks dynamism, loudness. They use level tone because they are emotionally stable. So these are also part of those stereotypes, conventional things which are attached with genders. 
these speech features are natural but get cultural importance now this is part of our natural biological setup as men and women but what happens culture assigns them meaning as i said that we attach some stereotypical things with that naturalness crying men are disliked because we don't expect that they would be emotionally weak they would never cry but emotionally expressive women they are liked in many cultures they should be emotionally expressive because it matches if you remember we have said it many times it matches with their caring nature with their maternal nature that is the role which society assigns them and it matches with that role in male dominated systems this naturalness in women speech is taken as weakness they say that they are instable they can't control their emotions so they are weak fragile okay in form but the positive side is that it shows that women are more expressive more versatile in expression of emotions they have many ways to express their emotions as compared to men so this is uh, a plus point of this expressiveness but if seen from patriarchal point of view it is something negative we conclude that what is natural in a speech style is actually natural because it is part of physiology and cultural expectations for men and women what we are calling natural what is that that is part of our again the same two factors are involved so naturalness is added to physiology and socio cultural expectations and these three together help us to make appropriate choice of intonation